Hello Titans, this is Mr. Sturtz. We are on lesson 5.6, which deals with graphing linear equations uh, with two variables. So pause the video here a second, write these two vocab words down in your student journal. The first one is the graph of a linear inequality, that's what we're working with today. Um, that's the graph with two variables that shows all the solutions of the inequality. The second vocab word is a half plane, um, which is two regions that the line we're going to graph today, that'll split our coordinate plane into two half planes. It's divided by what we call a boundary line. All right, let's do a couple examples of whether or not this is a solution. Okay, now think back to previous sections. All we need to do to figure out if it's a, it's a solution is plug in negative 1 for x and plug in 9 for y and see if it's a true statement. Okay, so we're going to rewrite that. Plug in negative 1 for x. Plug in 9 for y. That's less than or equal to negative 3. We've got to see if this is true. Okay, remember, if it's true, it's going to be a solution. If it's false, it's not a solution. So negative 2 plus 9 we know is 7. So we have to ask ourselves, is 7 less than negative 3? Well, we say that's not true. So it's not a solution. Okay, not a solution. Let's look at B. Plug in 2 for x, negative 2 for y. So we have 2 minus 3 times y, which is negative 2, greater than or equal to 8. See if this is true. 2, we have a negative 3 times a negative 2 is a positive 6. 2 plus 6 is 8, so we have to ask ourselves, is 8 greater than or equal to 8? It's not greater than, but it is equal to, so that is true. So it's a solution. Okay, just like equalities, but now we have an inequality. We have greater thans or less thans.